everyone and welcome to the another video on OpenLCA. In this video, I will be covering how to create a process in OpenLCA. This video is going to be very important for you to understand how to create a process. Creating a process in OpenLCA is a bit complicated, but I will take you through step by step and I will tell you each and everything that is important in creating a process. Before moving forward, there are a few points that we have to be aware of before creating a process in OpenLCA. Let's see what are the points that we should be aware of. So, I am going to open an Excel sheet that I have prepared for this process. I hope you can see the sheet that I am referring to. So, in this sheet, you can see that we are going to create a process for soy milk. To make the soy milk, there would be a few inputs and there would be a few outputs. So in input section, you can see we have soybean, we have water, we have salt and we have electricity as an input. Whereas in output section, you can see we have soy meal and we have soy milk. So let's check what are the inputs in making the soybean. So we have soybean of 2 kg whereas the water is 1 kg and the salt is 0.01 kg and the electricity is 1.5 kilowatt hour. All these points has to be very clear to you. For example, if the electricity is being used, what is the source for electricity? If you are using salt, what exactly the kind of salt that you are referring to? If it is in water, then what kind of water you are using? And if it is soybean, whether the soybeans are organic and whether the soybeans are inorganic. So all these points have to be aware of. Whereas in the output section, we have soy milk and we have soy meal. So as we can see that in this whole process, we are getting 1 kg of soy milk and whereas we are also getting soy meal of 2.01 kg. We can see these both product and the co-product has some economical values. For example, for soy milk, it is $4 per kg, whereas for milk, it is $1.5 per kg. So, as these both product and co-product contain some economical value, then we have to calculate the economic allocation so we can assess the impacts accordingly. So, if you are not aware how to calculate economic allocation, I have made a separate video earlier. You can check that video and just come back here and you can be aware of like how to calculate economic allocation. So by calculating economic allocation, we get the values of 57% for soy milk, whereas 43% for soy milk. Let's go back to the open LCA and create a process there. All we need to do is in creating a process, first we need to open a database. So as you can see that the database has opened. Before creating a process, the first thing that we need to create is a flow. As you can see, I have already created two flows for soy milk and one for soy milk. If you are not aware how to create a flow in OpenLCA, I have also made a separate video earlier. You can check that video and you will be aware of how to create a flow. So, in creating a process, first we need to open the process and we have to make another folder here name as emissions i would request you not to create another process in folders which are already there and related to equipment create a separate folder for yourself and do your work in that particular folder and now i'm just creating a folder here name as emission and the folder has been generated all we need to do is now just create a new process I will assign a number here, for example, one and colon and the name of the process would be soy milk processing. You can choose the name accordingly. You can go with soy milk production or you can go with the manufacturing of soy milk. It's all up to you. Now, all we need to do is just open the folder where the flows are being made and just select the soy milk here. As you can see that the process has been generated. 
but there are a few things that we need to add here the first thing is description you can add the description whatever you want so for example i'm adding the processing of soy milk is happening in the uk so now the person will be aware of like where the manufacturing is happening and how and what kind of providers you have added into the process the rest and the next thing is location as i have mentioned the processing is happening in uk so here we need to select the location for processing we'll go all the way down to select united kingdom and that's the worst thing about open lc you cannot search you cannot search the location all you need to do is just go all the way down and select the one that you want now i have selected united kingdom all i need to do is just control s and you can see here that the soy processing is happening in gb if i remove the united kingdom from here this gb will disappear next is adding input and output you can see that the soy milk is already there because i have selected the soy milk from the flows that's why it is here as soy milk all we need to do is either we can add a so from here or we can just double click here and the same window will pop up like this so let's add the soybean here first so i'm adding soybean and water we can prefer for tap water here the next was salt so we can add salt here so here like there are a lot of salt for base salt or you can go into the manufacturing you will get a lot of salt there too but here i am going for the one that i'm referring to salt and the next is electricity so what i am adding is high voltage electricity <laughs> we can go all the way down here and you will get the high voltage electricity you can go with the low voltage electricity you can go with the medium voltage electricity it's all up to you which kind of electricity you are referring to so that's why i have told you earlier that you have to be aware what kind of electricity is being used the next thing that we need to add is provider adding provider is very important i will be i will be telling you why it is so important so for example here i am adding that the soybean is coming from brazil and the tap water is coming from as you can see like there is no uk or gb here so i'm going with the euro because uh united kingdom is a part of euro for salt there is only one so i'll go with the global and for electricity you can see there are a lot of electricity providers so i'm going with the one that i'm referring to which is g i have added the provider now the question is like why adding provider is so important so for example you have added electricity here and you have added a provider name as a gb so we i can go back and check like how this electricity is being made or or i can go back to the geothermal as well i can check like how this geothermal is being made so this is why we add provider we can go and we can trace our supply chain or we can trace the inputs that we are adding from where it is coming and how it is being made so this is a very important part of adding provider we can go back and check like how things are being made in brazil so i can just go here and check how it is being transported how it is being growing so i can go back here and check like how uh, this soybean is being manufactured you can see i have all uh, the amount of <coughs> diesel is being used the amount of dolomite is being used so all these things are <coughs> very important in order to assess the environmental impact of a product or, or of a process so that's why we need to add a provider whenever we add a process in open lc so i have added the input let's add the values here so for example so it means 2 kg of soybean is being is being used and 1 kg of tap water salt is around 0.01 kg and whereas electricity is 1.5 kilowatt hours yes but the thing is here it is mega joule so we need to change it into kilowatt hours so now you can see that all the inputs are aligned with the sheet that i was referring to 
As you can see in the output, we have only one output here, which is soy milk. But according to the sheet, we had another co-product called soy meal. So how we are going to add soy meal here? For adding soy meal, the procedure is same. All we need to do is just double click here and you can see all the flows that are already here. We'll go into the emission and we'll add soy meal here. No, we have soy milk as a main product and soy meal as a byproduct. The bold color represent the main product. So let's check the amount that we need to add into the open LCA. So the amount for soy meal is one is two point zero one kg, whereas the soy milk is only one kg. So we'll add it here accordingly. Two point zero one. More than kg. So, so another thing that we have to be aware of that there has to be a mass balance in input and output. If the mass balance is not there, uh, then Open LCA would not calculate the exact amount of emissions. So there has to be a proper mass balance. As you can see that I have added this amount of soy milk and soy milk here. What next? Next is economic application. How we are going to add the economic allocations here? So for adding economic allocations, all we need to do is we will be going into the allocation part. You can see that we have casual, economic and physical allocation here. So as I am referring to economic allocation, I will be selecting it here. According to the sheet, we have 57% for soy milk and 43% for soy meal. So all I will be doing here is for soy meal, it would be 0 0.53 and for soy meal, it would be 0.47 just check like the summation of these two has to be one so it it is one here so 0.53 for soy milk and 0.47 for soy milk and we can just control s here so all the emissions will be assessed accordingly so for now everything is aligning with the sheet that i was referring to and the process is now completed as you can see, I have added all the inputs and output into the OpenLC. I know this is quite complicated to understand how the things work, but if you will be watching this video twice or thrice, things will be clear to you. I would request you to watch this video at least twice. So if you have any questions that will get clear, if not, please do ask me a question into the comment section so I will answer your question there or I will make another video on that. I'll see you in the next video for now. Thank you very much for watching this. Bye-bye.